Well, hello, my internet friends. Uh, Trey Ratcliffe here. Welcome to my studio here in New Zealand. And I wanted to make a special demo here to show you how Aurora HDR works on Windows. All right. So it's av been available for the Mac for quite a while, like 10 iterations. And now in its 10th iteration, uh, it's available on the PC on Windows. I know people have been screaming for it. So I wanted to actually do a demo here to show you how it works. Okay, so we're going to work on this photo here from Queenstown, New Zealand. This is where I, I live. Um, this is actually just from a few weeks ago. This summer storm came in. It was really beautiful. Uh, just down here below, you see I was working on a, a bracketed set of shots from Guaylin earlier. But now I'm going to work on this one. And this one's kind of extra special because this comes from a single raw file. You know, typically, you know, the popular knowledge is when you make an HDR image, you need bracketed images. That does help, but you don't honestly have to have bracketed images. Oftentimes I find that a single raw photo, like the middle raw photo, is just as good. In fact, this came from a quadcopter. This came from a DJI Phantom 4, uh, headed up about 100 meters, kind of shooting that direction. Um, so yeah, so I loaded it in here and I have this option here to turn on tone mapping, okay, which I do want on. And I'm going to say create HDR. Um, here we go. This is where the fun begins. Uh, this is not going to be like a total demo where I show you everything that Aurora can do. Uh, that actually takes a little bit over an hour to show you everything. We have a special tutorial uh, over on Stuck in Customs that you can get and uh, that has all the detailed stuff. So I'm just going to show you a little bit here, a little amuse-bouche. Now, just coming into here, there's already something magical that's happened. I click on the before and after, before and after. So you can see it's already done a bit of tone mapping to that still raw image. Um, down here at the bottom, we have different kinds of presets you can look at. We even have different categories of presets. So you click categories. We have landscape, realistic, architecture, dramatic, uh, even some of mine in there, Captain Chemo, Surge, Photo Surge, Indoor. Um, so for example, you can click on realistic and it repopulates this area down here with different ones. But we're not going to click on a preset. I'll just show you a few of my favorite controls here really quickly. Um, right here, this is cool because you can go in and do some lens correction. And since it's taken with a wide angle lens, you can do this to make the, uh, the mountain a bit more bulbous, a bit of mountain Viagra there. Um, it kind of reverses the, um, the distortion in a way. And that's the problem sometimes in landscape photos is with a wide angle shot, it can kind of ruin the lead. I feel like every photo should have some kind of protagonist. And the other things are background characters, so I like to make it more bulbous like that. Um, another great one here is HDR Enhance. That kind of amps that up a little bit. Smart Tone will pull up some of the dark spots. Very nice. Uh, um, now, we have all kinds of controls down here. Look at all this stuff. Image Radiance is one of my favorites. I'll show you that at the end. Vignetting, top, top and bottom tuning. We got it all. We thought everything. So, one other great thing here we have is layers. So, let's say we want to make the... Uh, the sky even more dramatic, okay? So we can click plus here, a new adjustment layer. Okay, and here we can do some more HDR enhance, do some more HDR structure, some softness. And if it's getting a little grainy up there, you can do the HDR denoise, right? Kind of amp that up to smooth it out. Look at that nice and smooth up there now. And then I click the brush, okay? Click on the brush here, brush. And now when I start to brush, it's just gonna brush that part in, you see? So now we have a smooth and dramatic sky. Um, you can kind of see the mask where I painted right there. Cool. And I might make one more layer. Okay, we'll go to top and bottom tuning here. I'll click on bottom. And we're going to increase the warmth here. So it's a little warmer on the bottom. Everyone likes a nice warm bottom. Um, I can adjust the center spot if I wanted to. I can shift it down or up. Shift it down. I might make it just a little bit brighter. Okay, now I can feel like this is like, it's summertime now here in New Zealand in December. And we have these warm summer rains that come in. There we go, looking good. So we'll add one last uh, adjustment layer. And that will be um, image radiance, one of my favorite areas. It kind of gives it that fairy tale glow. So you see if I really amp it up, it gets a little crazy, you know. That plus the shadows, that's way too much. I'm not going to do that much. I'm just kind of showing you what it does. But maybe just a little bit to give a little bit of a... A little bit of a glow, a little bit of a summer glow. There we go. So let's look at uh, the before and after. Okay. This is kind of the before right out of the camera. And then after, we really kind of amped it up and made it look uh, a little bit crazy. Now, you may not want it to go that crazy. It just In your case, just don't move the sliders quite as far. Maybe you just want to amp it up a little bit. Maybe you have a sort of a happy medium between these. Um, 
But yeah, pretty cool. Fun program. All you Windows people, go get it. You're going to love it. If you don't love it, uh, we'll give you a total money back guarantee. So you got nothing to lose. Uh, jump on in. The water's warm.